army's attempt to breach the Empire's defenses and gain the Isles of Ark has failed yet again. Only because your fleet has proved as impotent as a eunuch on lane night. Would you rather we simply fell back to the capital? Enough, both of you. All here agree that the Empire cannot be allowed to maintain its illegitimate claim on the Dominion. However, our casualties mount with each passing day. There is a literal sea twixt you and your prize. The armies of Sambrek need but sit back and watch as you harmlessly lap against their walls. They are dug in like ticks and seek to draw out this siege, knowing the capital's stores are nigh bottomless. And what of our wise rulers? Goaded into war without any thought as to what chaos it might reap. Republican soldiers starve while waiting for orders from Randalar. If you would but take the field, their bellies would be full by nightfall. If I take the field, so too will Bahamut, and our duel will shake the island to its foundations. Instead of liberating the Dominion, you would doom it to destruction. Unless that is what you desire. Uh, uh, if our learned advisor has a solution to propose, we should be glad to consider it. Hmm. What is the meaning of this, Lord Kupka? What it means is that I am disinclined to advise you any longer. Ah, the looks on their faces when you walked through those doors. A perfect picture of stupefaction. They could not believe their eyes. Though I confess, I had my own doubts whether or not you would accept my invitation. Such shocking news. Sid isn't a son of a whore, he's the son of an empress, your own dear Clive. Absurd. Who fed you these lies? I have never spent a moment among criminals, save at the gallows. I came here with my son, not to entertain your baseless accusations, but to put an end to the senseless hostilities between our nations. Very well. You need only agree to the terms I set out. Sid took the life of someone dear to me, a woman by the name of Benedicta. I swore to take his in turn. This would not be disagreeable to you, I take it. You would finally be rid of the stain on your noble name. In return, I will leave Sandbrek in your capable hands. Your Imperial Majesty. And all for the love of a common whore. <laughs> Dominant or no, one cannot hide one's breeding. 
and beasts will ever belong with beasts. <laughs> there are greater things in store for you, my darling Olivier. Soon enough, you shall be the crown prince of Sambrec. And when your father goes to meet great Grieger, you shall be emperor of all you survey. The old order shall come tumbling down, and you will rebuild the world in your glorious image. <laughs> Soon. She's been in there for hours. Something must be wrong. Where the hell Jill go? Oh! We have three. What happened? What happened when we like destroyed the fucking mother crystal? Did anything happen? You know like, I don't know, they started worrying about us? You know like the kingdoms now? A lad from the yard ran up to the basket of Martellet just this morning, sweet as a honey and crisp as a morning breeze. They were. I told myself I was the only one to go uh, to have one, but I reckon if no one else listens to old Otto, I, I don't, I don't have to either. You let Nigel and his uh, lot know that they're done a fine job. What time you catch none but sits uh, sipping on these? What for these foul bites? But for him, it was never about the flavor, but was uh, what was their what they re represent. Our ability to make it in on our own. And look at us now. Sid will be proud. I wanna know what happened to the mother crystal. Do, does the other kingdoms, you know, like, are worried about us now? You know, like, they we destroyed two already. So are they worried now? You know, like, they put more security guards or something? Tighten up their securities? Got more defensive now? Than going and conquer all worlds, all that bullshit? My lord Marcus. I ask once again for you to forgive my men for your welcome back at the Lazarus. But certainly you can understand that you were the last person of any of us were expecting to see at our, at our gates. In the short time since our reunion, you have shown yourself to be the self same man I followed into still win those many years ago. A true bearer of your father's legacy. If not, if only Sir Tyler, the Lord Commander, and the others were just uh who were lost at that night were still uh with us see how bright your face now burns to you and your cause i hereby pledge the sword of the guardians and i am proud to stand alongside you once again all, right. all quiet in the dominion is this it that dalmak and the imperials are in standoff they smell uh each other the things uh bear like slim curse but Nero wants to make the first move. It's almost as they realize the stinking pile of chocobo shits there. He stepped in. If I were the man to lay a uh, wager, I'd put my coppers in this conflict not playing out anytime soon. I should keep your prize. Yeah. Oh yeah, about the mother! Man. She, she doesn't... <laughs> she doesn't want to get like a, a scandal that her... Or like her... One of her son is a... A fucking rebels. <laughs> God damn it. Now she's gonna work with the enemy. Wait, was there a side quest? Yeah, there's a side quest over there. Why is there a plus? Have I done it before? What do you need? You got something new. What do you have new? Sorry, what'd it be?
53. I need this. Where the fuck do I get this recipe? Oh, I mean the materials. Where the fuck do I get them? Fuck it. It lost you a good while. I need, I need new Close stuff. I need more right. armor. If I fight with the, with the, oh, the guardian, whatever, I, I need more armor. God damn it. And. Are you the? Wait, where the fuck are you? What the fuck? I have never been there. I thought it was going to be the this guy right here planting the trees. You know, like maybe he wants me to like to send more apples to to everyone in the camp. Who are you? Uh, Sid, I I know that when we came to the hideaway, we chose to let go of our past in order that we might focus on our future. We did. Nonetheless, I was wondering if well, I know you are from Rosaria and I'm in need of someone with intimate knowledge of those lands. Apparently, the duchy is home to all manner of curative herbs found nowhere else in the realm. Among them is a flower called a Morgan beard that increases the potency of lesser medicines. I can't say that I've had much practice healing. My youth was spent in the Bailey. A shame. You see, the hideaway relies heavily upon medicines procured from afar. And when those shipments are late, well, it's our sick who suffer. If we could find this flower and learn to grow it here, we might save many lives. However, as you are well aware, Imperial occupation has rendered the roads unsafe for those like me, untrained in the military arts. Now, I'm not asking the busiest man in the hideaway to drop everything and make the journey for me, but if you happen to be in the duchy on other business, Tell me of these Morgan beards, then. But of course, if my old tomes are to be believed, the flowers are bright yellow and as large as goblins' eyes. Oh, and they grow in the marshes of Sorrowise. If I am to propagate them here in the backyard, I will require several samples, preferably of blooms which have already gone to seed. And before I forget, I do seem to recall learning in the course of my research that their odor has the tendency to attract unsavory creatures. Nothing you cannot handle, though, I'm sure. God damn it. What kind of stuff you're buying or want me to get, damn it? Want me to go where a bunch of creatures are attracted of this fucking flower? God damn. Let us know if you find any bots in the Well, don't just stand there gulping. Fine purse weighing you down. Fuck! That's actually a sword better than mine. The platinum sword. By five. No. Hmm. Come again. Oh, don't. I'm not much bothered either way. I'm your only customer, I believe. Why, why are you doing this to me? Why, why are you so mean? Oh, bother. Whatever am I to do now, Clive? About what? I've two dresses that need stitching, but I haven't got a scrap of linen. Those girls' rags are so threadbare. It's a wonder they don't fall to pieces. And we most certainly cannot have that. A certain amount of decorum must be maintained, even here at the hideaway. You wouldn't want the poor things going without decent clothes now, would you? Of course not. What can I do to help? Oh, aren't you a dear? You see, I've paid for two bolts of cloth from the drapers in Northreach, blue and red. 
but they don't deliver. Not to places that aren't on the map anyway, so I'll need someone to take this receipt and collect them. And you'd have this someone be me? I would. And don't let them fob you off with anything less than what I paid for. One bolt of blue and one of red. I expect them both. They give us new clothes. But we've no coin. The marshes near the Abbey are certainly damp. Let's see if they're damp enough for Morgan Beards. Garbling, uh, goblin Gardener? Holy crap. Attack this area, bitch. Damn it. He could barely do damage. God damn it. How powerful the gobl uh, goblins are. Holy shit. They were awake when I first met them. How strong did they get? Holy shit. Where is this uh, goddamn flower? Is that it? The size of a goblin's eye. Fuck this goblin. I certainly wasn't wrong about him being attracted to the flower, sir. Fuck. I need, I need the goblin to die first. Come on. So give me thunder. What the fuck? Bright yellow. These are our Morgan beards, all right. Well, I've gone to this much trouble. Might as well go. There's something familiar about this scent. It reminds me of home. Wait, what the fuck? It reminds you of home. Hopefully, this will be enough. I've had my fill of goblins. Goblin coins? What the fuck? There's goblin coins? The goblins have their own uh, currency? What the fuck is this shit? Wait, where is there like a little market? I want to see this goblin market. I want to buy shit from them. Oh, 
Oh, where are you here? Pooch is nice and chilled. Look at this place. We spend half a day getting here. Let's hope the draper has Hortense's cloth. Can't be that easy. It can't be that easy. Might I interest you in some swans down? Perhaps some seersucker or herringbone. Just some linen. Two bolts. Already paid for in full. Apologies, my lord, but your items aren't here. They were due to arrive on a caravan from Bocklad, but there's been little traffic on the road these past few days. My mother thinks it might be bandits, but she always thinks it's bandits. It usually is. So I assume the caravan will be coming from the south? Yes, hopefully carrying all manner of spice and sundries. Wait, you aren't thinking of... Going to find it. That's exactly what I'm thinking. Oh. Well then, be safe. You could just wait for the caravan at the Vale. I see you wear the dame's brooch. They'd welcome you, wouldn't they? Yeah, but... They're gonna be attacked. Holy shit, this fucking whole area? Why is it in the open? Holy crap. She, she says that now, but when she finds out that they've been attacked, she's gonna be all like shocked and maybe horrified that they've been attacked. That this no, never happened before. All that. That damn bird's a menace. But she what? meant nothing by it. I swear. What happened? Who's gonna buy my wares now? State your animals left them in. But they hardly damage us all. Is there something wrong? If you're a bandit come to steal my stuff, you're going to be sorely disappointed. And all thanks to this fool. But it, it was you who stepped into my path. Only after that feather brain trampled me. I demand recompense, be it in coin or the items you carry. Refuse, and I shall report you to the garrison and see you hanged. Uh, these, these goods are expected in Northreach. I mean, they're not mine to give away. You wouldn't happen to be on your way from Boklad, would you? I, I, I am, but, um, did someone from the market send you? Please, please, you have to help me. I, I can pay whatever you ask. So the fool has protection. And coin, too. Sorry, friend. But we'll be the ones taking it. Oi! Killer! It's time to collect! I told you not to call me that. And we'd have already collected if you hadn't insisted we'd put on this little act. Bandits! As I told one of your customers, it usually is. Let's get this over with. Killer! I'll deal with the bird lover. You take the handsome one, killer. Stop calling me that. <laughs> Fuck.
I want to see what the fuck that guy's gonna do with a fucking rich motherfucker. Or acting rich. I want the chuckle ball, kill him. Kill, kill the bastard. Nice try. Ooh. I want to see the chocobo attack the guy. The guy who said he's going to take care of the fucking merchant and the fucking chocobo. Alright, alright. You made your point. Killer my ass. Did he hurt you? No. No, thankfully. He seemed intent on letting the bandit do his dirty work for him. And he would have succeeded had the great lender not sent you. My shipment is safe, and my livelihood with it. You must allow me to reward you. We can speak of that once you're safe in Northreach. I'll accompany you there. So you and my mother were right. It is always bandits. And were it not for the kindness of our free sword here, you'd be buying your order back from them at twice the price. Now, if you don't mind, I have a pressing appointment at the Vale before my return to Boklad. Uh, farewell. Oh, I almost forgot. I suppose you'd be wanting your linen. You'll be happy to know both bolts arrived safely along with the rest of the delivery. I've also added a few extra lengths of our finest fabrics to the bundle. Free of charge. Are you sure? My mother would insist. It's the least we can do for the man who saved our shipment. How's that done then? Now it's back to Hortense with her cloth. So we're just gonna le le uh, leave that guy, the bandit dude, the last, the, the fucking asshole. We're just gonna leave him. Not gonna chase after him. Is he like some kind of a villain that we're gonna meet often? You know, like the next side mission, he's gonna be there trying to rob a place. He brings another guy. Like I don't know. He called that guy killer. Maybe the other one, uh, murderer. I don't know. <laughs> Just fucking gives them nicknames that it's fucking trying to scare us with. All right, I got your cloth. Uh, what are you gonna do with it? Clive, sorry again for sending you all that way, but you did get my order, didn't you? Don't worry, I have it. I believe this will more than satisfy your needs. Let's see here. One bolt of red, one bolt of blue. What's this? I don't recall ordering any silk or velvet or... Is this gold work? Gregor's ghost. If that devil of a draper expects me to pay for these... You needn't worry on that score, Hortense. They were a gift. For services rendered. I can always return them if you like. Oh no, oh, there's no need to be hasty now, Clive. I'm sure I can put all three to good use. Speaking of which... Which one's most to your liking? Hmm? I... don't know. Ah. Is this gonna impact me or something? What do you mean? A pick. Let's try white. This one, I suppose. Have a mind to give a piece to Jill? Did you know she's quite the little seamstress? <laughs> I know Needlecraft was amongst her lessons at the castle. Her lessons? Oh, that's right. The two of you were raised together in Rosalith, weren't you? Not quite together, but... When my father put down the uprising in the Northern Territories, Jill was taken as a ward to ensure that her father, the Silvermane, would keep the peace. 
She's an honest-to-goodness princess then, isn't she? I could tell, you know. Some people just have that air about them. Not many round here, mind. I'd offer to sew her something that might better suit her station. But she'd most likely turn me down, as she always does. Tell me not to waste the fabric when it's better used on the children. Don't take it the wrong way. She certainly seems to be attached to the last outfit you made her. Oh, <laughs> sometimes I think she never takes it off. <laughs> Or perhaps she'll make something for herself with your gift. Either way, I'm sure she won't turn it down. We'll see, I suppose. Wait. What, what happened if I picked the other ones? <laughs> what, what happened if I choose the other colors? Do they, like, give it off like a different story? The black one will most not, most likely be Clive, but the red one will be... I don't know, maybe Joshua? Like they start talking about their history. Would she actually wear it? Wait, would she actually wear something new? Is it true what I'm hearing, Sid? Got your flowers. It is rare that we see you so often in the backyard, Sid. What brings you to the gardens? I found your flowers. Yes, yes, wonderful. These are almost identical to the plates in my tome. Did you have any trouble locating them? Finding them was the easy part, but it's odd. They remind me of my childhood somehow. I don't remember these flowers specifically, but you must have grown them in the castle garden. If the petals are meant to improve the effectiveness of medicines, it's possible that the core physicers grew them for the tinctures and treatments they made my brother. If the ducal healers were convinced of their properties, that is all the more reason to begin growing our own supply here. Oh, allow me to use some of the flowers you brought me to make something that might aid you on your travels. I need only a moment to extract the essence from the petals. And here we are. A file of pure Morgan Beard extract. A single drop added to any one of your restoratives will increase its potency. At least I hope it will. He said hope. What's the side effect? Is the increasing consumable potentially? Okay. Wait. Valuable can be traded for gills. I could trade stuff but that's not worth you know like i always thought when i get things it will be like i don't know like like to, to craft like a material but i actually have junks in my fucking air uh my collection or items god damn it i didn't know that You have obtained a file of uh, Morgan Beard uh, ex uh, extract. Hereby increasing the uh, potentiality of most consumables, both potion and high potion can now restore more HP while strength and stone skin and, and light heart last longer. Ooh. Oh, it's a good thing I did this. <laughs> I definitely need that. I need to increase my potion's uh, effectiveness. So the last boss. My first death. <laughs> Fucking bastard. Alright, how much I need? How much how I need to I help you today, Clive? Come to claim your just desserts. I need two hundred five. Holy fuck. 
Best of luck out there, Sid. No side missions How or anything? Doing? Anything catch your eye? Always no. something in there. Wait, new beast? You have new beast? What kind of Oh shit! Two uh as soon as you find this one. Where the fuck are you? A broken hilt? Ah! Oh, it's a Minotaur! It's a level B. Is this a level B? Oh, this one. God damn it. Okay, I'm gonna read it. Uh, no, no, let's not read it. Let's not read it. God damn it. Ah, my favorite pupil. How may I help you today? What's new? Of course. What's new? Uh, trying to see who we got new here. Hmm. Oh. Traveling companion. Okay. Okay. I want to know more about her. Who? who, who? Servant of a man who goes to the name of Lord Margrave. Together they travel across the twins. I, I want to know how the hell did Joshua met her? I mean, like, he's supposed to be dead. We fucking killed him. How the fuck did he live? And then, who did he meet? The companion and the protector of Joshua Rosefield. Dominant of Phoenix as a loyal, she is dangerous. Ooh. Her blade is, uh, is ever at the ready for any who might even uh, means her master ill. And her ton uh, tonics are ever hand to heal the sickly prince hurts. I heard tonic ever at hand to heal the sickly prince hurts. What the fuck? Joshua addressed her by the name of Joe, but it's unclear whether her true name or any uh, persona. You have anything new here? Alliance? Is that my uncle? No. Okay. Sid, this is Sid, he died. He said there was something new here. What, what's new? Oh! The High Priest! Motherfucker! The Asselius Believer? Okay. A Patriarch of the Crystalline Orthodox. A zealous believer in the Orthodox teaching that the Bearers and the Dominus are unclean creatures born of sin. He has con uh, conducted a sacrificial slaughter of bearers, claiming that he was merely cleansing them of their corruption. Slain by Jill Warwick and her return of the Iron Kingdom, and answered not only for the crime he committed, but those fo uh, he forced her to commit in the, the name of his crusade. I am not going to do this. I want to see the beginning. Oh, okay. Child friend, best friend, his shield, uh, train, steed rider, sworn serve. Okay. And there, Joshua, he died. <laughs> the mysterious stranger. Yeah. You see, finger. Okay, okay. See a mysterious man, many believe to be the Dominant of Fire. Clive first saw him in the Phoenix Gate at the night of the Imperial's invasion, and for years believed to be him of the Fire. I mean, for him to be the Dominant of Icon that killed his uh, brother. But Clive internal chagrin, he has proven otherwise. Yeah, I want to know who the fuck is this guy. Can't be Ifrit. Assassinated. <laughs> <laughs> they actually put this around here. He killed his own uh, husband. Fuck. Saved. Fought alongside with with Joshua. Believe dead. <laughs> Puppy. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. Mother and son. They still fucking have this. What the fuck? This. Attempt this assassination, we build against. Okay. Wait. Master and servant. Oh. This guy. 
I forgot about this guy. Let's see, master and servant. Break trust with comrades. Oh, I thought she was actually in love with her, but they, they were like fucking tricking him. Okay. Icon battle, battle. Then what happens next? Allies. Rescue. France reunited. <laughs> uh, healed. Encounter. Master or servant. Yeah, I was kind of disappointed that this guy fucking died. He he looked like he like I don't know, like he could he could have been like a some kind of boss. You know, like he he was protecting her. Like they were always like having a cutscene. Like he's someone important, but now he dies by a random a random enemy. Uh, I think it was a bandit that killed him. Oh, master of servant. Yeah, this is kind of weird. He's supposed to be some kind of inference, uh, you know, uh, conscious or something. I don't know. Captured. Okay. Master of servant. Okay, I'm trying to see anything new. Old acquaintance. Allies, allies. Okay, what's next? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pursue. Absorb the power of uh, Garuda. Okay, what's this? Tracking. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, he, he was tracking uh, Joshua. Okay. Kind of weird. Oh, master of servant. Family companion. Okay. Icon battle. Harry's home. Best friend. Late to ra uh, rest. Best friend. Uh, saved. Still tracking him. Allies, allies. Gives clothes. Oh, her. God damn it. Wait, what the fuck is this? Uh, tyrannize? Is this where she fucking kills her? Or sends someone to kill her? Slayed. Hates. <laughs> this is where he hates her. Wait, what the fuck? Former lover. God damn it. Okay, these two got married. Father and son. Master and servant. Traveling companion. Allies. Allies. Still hates him. <laughs> what about this fucker? I thought maybe he was in love with her too or something. But no, he was just using her because she is she has the icon. Reject. <laughs> Sealed away. What? Gives the power of Rama to Oh. Has his title too. To hate him. destroy. Slays. Oh. Ultima slays him. Wait, what the fuck? Tries to claim. Uh, remove brands. Oh, you remove his brand. Later. Carries the legacy. Allies. Just companion. What the fuck? Comps uh, confirm. Uh, survive. Survival. Avenging Sid. More immortal foe. Hunting. Hunting still. Family companion. Allies. Rescues. Uncle and nephew. Okay, there he is. 
then ship habits reunited best friends traveling still hunting him wait what the fuck compiled with oh it is now okay I wonder what the fuck this master doing I mean like he hasn't been doing anything the only thing he did was attack a uh, uh, Bahamut that's it one must understand one's place in the world. Okay, we, we went over there, okay. The Iron Kingdom went retreated. Okay, they retreated. Okay, the Mother Christ of Drake Bread, held by the Iron Kingdom since before fall, when his heart was uh, shattered, the ensuing destruction took with it not just the round, uh, the stunness or whatever, but the entire Isle of the Binning. Landed. Emerian. Hold on. Patriarch of the faith known as the Crystalline uh, Orthodoxy was killed in an attack. Okay, what the fuck happened to the Iron Kingdom? Are they gonna have a new uh, Patriarch or what's going on? Island Nation. Alright, let's see. Uh... Okay, uh, its mother crystal, Drake Breath, was destroyed in an attack of launch by Sid and the Outlaws. And the loss of the crystal of the patriarch, uh, chief of the priests who served it, plunged into the kingdom into chaos, leaving the mon mon uh, monarchy wanting for a leader beyond its politically important role to. Are, are these still still in the standoff? Siege? Yeah, they're still doing that. And then this bastard, he's not doing shit. He just like watching until like one if one gets weakened he might like fucking do a sneak attack or an ambush. Thus ends today's lesson. Oh, man,